Imagine living 40,000 years ago, a time when survival meant wrestling with nature itself, when every day was a test of strength, endurance, and adaptability. Among our distant relatives, the Neanderthals and the Cro-Magnons, women were far from fragile. In fact, they were among the strongest, most resilient humans to ever walk the earth. Today, we'll uncover the incredible world of Stone Age women, their power, their resilience, their role in survival, and why these ancient women may have been stronger than the average man today. Neanderthal women, nature's powerhouses. Neanderthal women weren't delicate figures hidden away in caves. Their bones tell us a different story. They had dense muscles, broad shoulders, and incredible grip strength, comparable to today's elite athletes. Just picture it, a Neanderthal woman dragging an animal carcass through rugged terrain, helping build shelters with hides, even possibly taking part in dangerous hunts. Fossil injuries found on female skeletons suggest they faced the same hazards as their male counterparts. They weren't just survivors, they were warriors of their time. Cro-Magnon women, the agile survivors. Meanwhile, Cro-Magnon women, our direct ancestors, had their own edge. They were taller, more agile, and adapted for endurance. Their leaner builds gave them stamina to move long distances, forage, and keep pace with hunts. They may not have had the raw, brute strength of Neanderthals, but their agility and endurance helped them thrive in ever-changing climates. Strength versus agility. Who would win? So what if a Neanderthal woman faced off against a Cro-Magnon woman? The Neanderthal's raw power could overpower most modern men, no question. But the Cro-Magnon's speed and stamina made her a different kind of formidable. It's strength versus agility, and both were shaped by their environments. This balance between muscle and mobility may explain why our lineage survived while Neanderthals faded away. Beyond muscles, the minds of ancient women, but it wasn't just about brute force. Neanderthal women had brains as large as ours, sometimes larger. They could communicate, likely had complex speech, and played vital roles in raising children, making tools, and passing down survival knowledge. Some scientists even believe that Neanderthals had their own proto-language, with words tied to survival, protection, and strength. Why this matters? What we learn from these ancient women isn't just about the past, it's about us. Their strength, endurance, and adaptability are reminders of what humans are capable of when survival is on the line. They were not side characters in prehistory. They were leaders, builders, fighters, and survivors. So, what do you think? If a Neanderthal woman walked into our world today, would she outmatch our best athletes? Or would modern training give us the edge? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear your take. And if you enjoyed this journey into the world of our ancient sisters, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell so you don't miss our next exploration into human history. The daily life of ancient women. Let's step into their shoes. What was daily life like for a Neanderthal or Cro-Magnon woman? Every morning began with survival. Gathering plants, berries, and roots wasn't just about food. It was about medicine. Women often knew which herbs healed wounds, soothed pain, or even acted as natural antibiotics. This knowledge, passed from mother to daughter, was crucial for survival in a dangerous world. And when it came to childcare, ancient women carried more than just their babies. They carried the future of the species. Imagine raising a child in an Ice Age environment, teaching them to walk among mammoths and saber-toothed cats. Every lesson, how to build a fire, how to craft tools, how to stay silent during a hunt, meant the difference between life and death. Fashion of survival. We often picture ancient humans as ragged, but the reality was much more sophisticated. Neanderthal and Cro-Magnon women were likely the first tailors. They stitched hides with bone needles, used plant fibers as thread, and created garments that could withstand brutal winters. This wasn't just about keeping warm, it was innovation. Some researchers believe that clothing itself was one of the deciding factors in Homo sapiens' survival over Neanderthals. And behind that innovation, 
Women who turned survival into skill, food, fire, and ferocity. Cooking may seem simple today, but for our ancestors, it was revolutionary. Evidence suggests women played a huge role in mastering fire, preparing meals that made nutrients more digestible, keeping groups warm, and warding off predators. But let's not sugarcoat it, these women were fierce. Some carried scars from hunts. Others bore the bone marks of constant heavy lifting, hauling wood, water, and game. Their daily lives were workouts modern athletes train years to replicate. Birth, survival, and legacy. Childbirth in the Stone Age was one of the greatest risks a woman could face. Without medicine, every birth was dangerous. But here's the remarkable part. Despite the odds, their resilience carried humanity forward. Pelvic bones suggest that Neanderthal women had wider hips, adapted for birth, but also for strength. These same bones show the incredible endurance needed to survive pregnancy in extreme conditions. Every child born was a victory, every mother a symbol of resilience. Ancient strength versus modern life. Now let's compare, could an ancient woman beat a modern athlete? Bone density studies say, yes. Prehistoric women had stronger arms than today's elite rowers. Think about that for a moment. Olympic-level athletes, trained with cutting-edge science, still couldn't match the natural strength of a woman who lived 5,000, 10,000, even 40,000 years ago. It makes us wonder, are we weaker because we've lost touch with that primal lifestyle, or simply different because we've adapted to new challenges? Language, songs, and culture. Strength wasn't the only contribution. Imagine sitting in a firelit cave as women sang lullabies, told stories, and passed down wisdom. Some researchers believe women were the first storytellers, teaching children through songs and rhythm. Their voices may have carried proto-languages, echoing with words of strength, survival, and community. These were the first sparks of human culture. And without them, there would be no poetry, no songs, no stories, no YouTube videos like this one. Final reflection and call to action. When we think of prehistory, it's easy to focus on the hunters, the warriors, the dramatic fights for survival. But behind every hunt was a fire tender. Behind every tribe was a mother. Behind every survival story was a woman who carried the knowledge, the strength and the resilience to keep the species alive. So here's a question for you. Which do you think was more important for survival, raw Neanderthal strength or Cro-Magnon endurance and adaptability? Let me know in the comments. I'll be reading and replying to as many as I can. When scientists study ancient skeletons, they're not just looking at bones. They're reading a biography carved into the body. Every scar, every muscle attachment, every fracture tells a story of daily life. For Neanderthal women, the story is almost unbelievable. Their arm bones show stress patterns similar to what modern blacksmiths or professional climbers experience. Their finger bones suggest a grip so powerful that they could crush and twist wood, hide and stone tools with ease. Even their leg bones, thicker than ours, prove they were constantly climbing, crouching, carrying and moving across landscapes that would challenge today's toughest explorers. It's not exaggeration to say that these women lived lives of constant motion and constant resistance training without a gym in sight. The silent heroes of innovation. It's tempting to think of ancient men as the inventors and hunters, but many breakthroughs may have come from women. Toolmaking, for example, required patience and precision, qualities that mothers passed down as they taught children. Archaeologists suggest women may have played a central role in refining stone tools, developing fire technology, and even experimenting with plant-based medicines. Picture a group gathered around a fire. While men returned from a hunt, women may have been experimenting with new ways to stitch hides, preserve food, or brew herbal remedies. These everyday experiments were the foundation of human innovation, the harsh cost of survival. But make no mistake, life was brutal. Many ancient women didn't live past 30. Their skeletons reveal broken bones, worn teeth, and the toll of childbirth. 
Some pelvic bones show damage from multiple births under dangerous conditions. Others reveal arthritis from years of carrying heavy loads. Yet even in death, they left behind legacies. Burials suggest care and respect. Some Neanderthal graves include flowers, pigments, and carefully placed stones. Signs that these women weren't just survivors, they were loved and honored. The mystery of interbreeding. One of the most fascinating revelations of modern genetics is that many of us still carry Neanderthal DNA. And here's the twist. Much of that DNA likely came from Neanderthal women. Studies suggest that early Homo sapiens men mated with Neanderthal women during migrations across Europe and Asia. Those unions weren't rare accidents. They were part of a long, complicated relationship between two human species. So if you have European or Asian ancestry, parts of your immune system, your skin, even your hair may carry the genetic imprint of a Neanderthal woman who lived more than 50,000 years ago. Women and spirituality in the Stone Age. Physical strength wasn't the only power these women held. Some of the earliest known artworks, small figurines of women with exaggerated features, suggest they may have been central to early spiritual life. Were these carvings symbols of fertility, of leadership, of reverence for the female role in creation and survival, we may never know. But the fact remains, the female form was sacred enough to be immortalized in stone, clay, and ivory. In a world where survival was fragile, women may have embodied not just life itself, but the promise of continuity. Lessons for the modern world. When we compare ourselves to these women of the past, the differences are staggering. We sit more, we lift less. We rely on tools, machines, and comfort. But their story isn't just about nostalgia. It's about perspective. The strength of Neanderthal and Cro-Magnon women reminds us that human bodies are built for resilience. That mothers and daughters were always central to innovation. That survival was never just about brute force. It was about community, knowledge, and adaptability. So next time you lift a weight at the gym or carry groceries up the stairs, remember, you're echoing movements that once shaped human history. Now I want to hear from you. If you had the chance to spend a day with either a Neanderthal woman or a Cro-Magnon woman, who would you choose and why? Would you train with the raw strength of the Neanderthal or learn endurance and innovation from the Cro-Magnon? Drop your answer in the comments. I'll pin some of the most creative responses. And if you're new here, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more journeys into the past. Every click helps keep history alive